Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Dave from Gold Gamers, and today we're going to be looking at this Nintendo Switch that's not detecting any SD cards. So let's go over to the upper cam, and I'm going to show you guys how to be able to get this issue fixed. All right, guys, as you can see, we have a Nintendo Switch that a customer brought in, and I have been constantly having to repair this issue. I don't know what it is. It seems like this issue has really been blowing up lately. Either the game cart reader is not working or the SD card reader is not working. Now, here is my personal SD card from my personal Nintendo Switch. Now, let's go ahead and put in this. Now, obviously, I will, I will always recommend people to make sure you try another SD card just because it, it could be your SD card just could be broke. So, let's slide it in here. As you can see, it's in there nice and tight. And now here we are. Um, now let's go over to the settings. As you can see, nothing popped up. It doesn't even detect it. Usually once you put it in, it will tell you, hey, do you want to format your SD card? Now we're going to go over to the settings. Now we're going to go over to data management. Um, sorry. All right, there we go. You can see micro SD card not inserted. So it doesn't even detect the SD card. Now. What we're going to have to do is swap out the SD card reader. Now, this is very easy and simple. Here we are right here. You're going to need a couple things. And I have a lot of my tools down in the description. And if I don't have these, you could just go on Amazon and get these. You go to Amazon, you can be able to get a tri-wing screw. It's just a Nintendo Switch opener and a Phillips screwdriver. And since this is not really difficult because, I mean, we're only just popping off just a couple screws. I'm going to show you guys. Usually, I would speed this process up. So... We're going to take off the middle screw right here. All the other screws can stay. So a lot of people will want to take off all the screws. You don't need to do all that because we're not, that will only be necessary if you're taking off these sliders. So we're going to take off that middle screw right here. This middle screw right here. We're going to flip over to the back. We're going to take off these four screws right here with this tri-wing. All right, so now we're done with the tri-wing. Now we're going to pop open the, the kickstand. We're going to take out of our we're going to take out our SD card. There's a screw right here, right next to the SD card reader. You're going to use your Phillips screwdriver to get that one out. It's a very teeny tiny screw. So pop that out. And now these three screws are different sizes. Well, these three are the same sizes, but they're different size from this one and these screws on the side. So make sure you have all these screws set up so you can put them in this, back in the same spots. So that screw is actually stripped in there. So that screw is not going to be, yeah, as you could tell, um, someone must have dropped it or opened it up before or yanked it. So it's kind of where we're at right now. As you can see, here's our SD card reader. It's just held down by one screw. It's a silver screw. I'm going to take that silver screw out. We're going to lift that SD card reader. Now what we're going to do, I always just do this just for good luck. Just kind of just clean this area. Now, I do want to warn you guys, sometimes it can be something bigger than the SD card reader. Sometimes it can actually be the pins right here. And I'll zoom in to let you guys see. Sometimes it can actually be your pins right in here. Um, that's usually rare. I usually don't see that happen often. But if so, then you usually have to solder on a new set of pins so you have to flow off that piece and what i'm doing right now is just going around and cleaning it and i always like to just get all the dust off and just have it looking nice and neat and i'm going to take my towel just going to do it just clean 
wipe down everything. Now I'm going to take my new SD card reader from my, well, my new used one from my um, donor console. I'm just going to pop it in like so. And then what we're going to do is we're going to turn on the switch. Well, the switch is already on. I'm going to pop in this SD card and see if it brings up the need to be formatted. As you can see, um, it says system update is required. So now it actually detects the SD card. So um, let's go ahead and put this thing back together. All right, so we have it back together and just wanted to pop it back together just to show you guys one more time. Here's me inserting the, SS, the SD card. As you can see, here's the old SD card reader. It immediately detects, it says system update. Now I'm not gonna allow it to update because I'm afraid that if I allow it to update that it will format my SD card. And this is my personal SD card and I don't wanna lose any of the data I have on, stored on that SD card, but obviously it works because it didn't detect with this old SD card reader, which I could throw in a trash right there. So looks like we have a fully functional Nintendo Switch now. All right, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. This was a pretty quick and easy fix. If you guys need any extra additional help with your Nintendo Switch, please go on ahead and let me know down in the comments or if you want us to repair your Nintendo Switch for you. You can ship it in or you can bring it into any of our store locations here in Nebraska. We're also opening up a location soon in Iowa. If you reach out to us, we could be able to get organized your repair. Hope you guys did enjoy this video today. Make sure you're going ahead and subscribe to the channel if you are new. Like this video if this video did help you guys out. But besides that, I'll see you guys on the flip side. See ya.